Um, thanks everyone for joining us for this next installment of the Lunar Surface Science Workshop, uh, LSSW 25, um, focused on plume surface interactions. So I'm uh, Addie Dove, I'm one of the co-hosts, and Wesley Chambers um, is the other co-host for or co-chair for this workshop this week. Um, we'll do brief introductions in a second. Um, but I just wanted to say that we're really excited to be um, hosting this. We have been hoping to do this for a while and we're really um, looking to use this as a way to obviously have discussions over the next couple of days, but then also moving forward to use this as a jumping off point for continued discussions. So, Quick introductions. Um, I'm Dr. Addie Dove. I'm a planetary scientist at the University of Central Florida in the Department of Physics. Um, I, I do research focused on dust interactions on planetary surfaces, um, and some of those interactions include plume surface interactions. Um, I will be um, co-chairing and moderating many of the sessions over the next two days, um, and then I'll let Wesley, my co-host, introduce himself too. Hey everyone. Um, yeah, my name is Wesley Chambers and I work at Marshall Space Flight Center. Um, I'm in the uh, natural environments group here uh, where I focus on the lunar surface environment. Um, also uh, work on plume surface interactions as the deputy PI for the uh, HLS uh, plume surface interaction ground test effort. And so, uh, yeah, and have a research background in PSI. This is something, like Addie said, that we've been hoping to do for a while. Um, also, in part, realize there are a lot of folks now working in plume surface interactions, both on kind of the science side and on the engineering side. And because many of us go to different conferences or have different um, environments in which we work, what we're really hoping to is to kind of bridge some of those gaps. And uh, hopefully, you can hear from folks that maybe you we're not familiar with um, over the course of the workshop and hear uh, just, yeah, what's going on uh, in terms of modeling and uh, experimental work and all those kinds of things. So really hope this is useful for the community. Yeah, thanks, Wesley. Um, and so we would not be able to do this uh, without the awesome uh, group that's been working behind the scenes, and then we'll be working here over the next couple of days to make this run hopefully very smoothly. Um, that includes uh, the moderators, so myself and Wesley and Ashley Curzon and Kristen John. Um, we'll also have uh, folks who are advancing the slides, so thanks in advance to everybody who got their slides in and to our slide advancers. Um, we have a couple of folks. Uh, Kayla Shang and um, Daniel Stubbs, who will be taking notes throughout the two days. Um, we also ha obviously have to thank LPI for putting this all together, collecting registration and getting your uh, the, the nice agenda posted. Um, and the LSSW team within NASA who have helped us coordinate all of this and structure it um, and who will be on many of them will be on throughout uh, the, the couple of days. Okay, so um, some logistics as we get started this morning. Uh, we are in WebEx, obviously, um, and so the way this will work in WebEx is that your microphones, <clears throat> as you can tell, are automatically muted. Uh, folks who are presenters will be um, promoted to a, a panelist status and will be able to unmute your microphones then. Um, unfortunately, this makes it difficult for doing Q&A uh, with vocally, but we do have um, a Q&A uh, tool that will be moderated via this I.O. interface. Um, and so you can click on, we'll put the link here in the chat in a minute, um, or you can use the QR code that's uh, visible right now to go to that site. So that Q&A um, will be available both days uh, just to post questions. Moderators can post answers. Um, so speakers, please look into the Q&A uh, after you give your talks, and we will try to um, then work with you to get answers posted into uh, those questions. We can also save all of those questions at the end of the workshop um, and, and have an FAQ uh, for the workshop, and this will also then go into the report that we put together. Um, the uh, other thing is that I have an incomplete sentence in my second bullet point, but the most talks are 10 minutes long. There are a few 15 minute talks and we are going to be pretty strict about holding you to that. We packed a lot of awesome talks into these two days um, and so we're going to have to be pretty strict on those timing. 
Uh, if you have an 8 minute talk, that's wonderful and we'll have a couple of minutes for questions and otherwise we'll just have to um, do questions via the IO interface. There is time at the end of the day for discussion and then for our breakout sessions. Um, so we can come back to some of the most upvoted questions um, in that those times too. Um, when we do go to breakout sessions at the end of the day today. Um, those will still be here in WebEx and those will be in a moderated unmute mode. So we'll be able to um, have a little bit more discussion uh, during those times. So today on the schedule, uh, we have um, introductions. That's what we're doing right now. And then we're going to go ahead and go into some talks about um, flight programs and community status. So we wanted to start off with some pretty high level talks sort of setting the stage for where we currently are and where we're hoping to go um, in the near future. Um, and uh, then after that, we'll have a set of talks this, later this afternoon, at least in my time, about experiments and testing. Um, and then after that, we will have some discussion and breakout uh, time. So um, I already mentioned this, but for the breakout sessions, um, we, you will see when we get to that point, you will see, and I'll put these slides up again when we get to there, but you'll see the links in the participants list um, and you can select the breakout session you'd want to join. Um, for today's breakout sessions, we sort of uh, notionally have organized them into localized effects and extended effects. So we're thinking about sort of very near term, uh, surf, either surface or near the plume, things like that. You can sort of self-define what that means to you uh, and then extended effects. Um, so we'll use those for the two breakout sessions today. Um, feel free to send us questions um, throughout the day uh, before we get there. Um, and I'll again show this slide again before we go to the breakout sessions. <clears throat> so uh, once again, we'll be watching the Q and A um, throughout the day um, and looking at the sessions. We can also the moderators can also um, monitor the the WebEx chat. Um, so, um, we're looking forward to a really exciting day today of talks um, and then segueing into tomorrow. Wesley, was there anything else you wanted to add? No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, so looking forward to hearing from everyone over the course of the next couple of days. <laughs>